Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video. I'm the Casual Racing Gamer, and today we are hitting a topic hard, and we are hitting a topic, a controversial topic, and there is going to be so many different opinions down in the comments, and I look forward to reading them all. So just know this is going to be my opinion. I respect your opinion, but first hear me out on this. We're going to be talking about fake sim versus real sim. Is it even such a thing? I'm also going to be talking about the Quest 3. I'm um, using it with Assetto. Corsa Competizione, which is a game that I played once in VR previously on the Quest 2 and the Rift S, and it was one of the worst VR experiences that I had. So I'm also going to talk about what it's like on the Quest 3 as well. This was my first time trying it on the headset, so I was looking for, see if it would give me a little better experience. So first, first we're going to watch Assetto Corsa Competizione screen here and race here at Brands Hatch, and then we'll hop over to GT7 because I think um, these are two games to go well together to compare what we're going to be talking about in this video so first thing is first what is a real sim well that's going to be the question and is there such thing as a real sim because i always talk about gt7 and i use the term sim in my titles and i talk about sim in the videos and people there's always someone that says gt7 is not a real sim it's an arcade game it's a fake game it's not a true sim it's not a real sim well i'm going to tell you that when it came to road racing i practiced i learned how to road race in GT7. I started in iRacing, um, but I only did ovals in iRacing. I went to GT7 when PSVR 2 came out, and with that, I was learned how to road race. So right now we're in Assetto Corsa Competizione. We're gonna just say ACC because it's so hard for me to say that whole title and everything. So first off, Quest 3 video footage here, and I was using VR High default settings. I didn't mess with any settings. I'm, I'm not a fan of having to change a million settings. So I know people are going to leave in the comments, change this, change that, do this, do this, do that, do that, do that. I went for default setting on VR High, and I am happy to say that it was actually playable. Was it as crisp as a game like Automobilista 2 or iRacing? No, definitely not as clear, not as crisp. The clarity is definitely way off, but it was playable, it looked decent, and I was able to actually get through a race and, and kind of not feel like my eyes were hurting like I did in the past. So I don't know if things have been maybe updated a little better for VR in this game, or if maybe the Quest 3, just the lenses just help that much more to make the game actually playable. So it is playable, and I know you guys have, you know, there's a hundred different settings that people will say to change and use, but I went with default VR high. I tried Epic. Epic was unplayable. It was just wouldn't play well. So, you know, this is a game that people say that, you know, this is a really good, drives better than GT7. It's more of a sim where GT7 is a sim arcade and arcade and all that good stuff. Well, here's the thing, guys. I learned how to race in GT7. And what I'm going to say now is, when we're talking about a real sim, is it such a thing? Because, you know, I did iRacing, I do iRacing. Here I am with ACC. I've raced in Automobilista 2. I've done the original Assetto Corsa. And every game runs differently. Every game drives differently. Every car handles differently in each game. No game is exactly the same. And what I'm going to tell you is, it's a game. It is a game, and I know that's going to be a controversial statement right there, but we're playing a game, guys. We're not playing, yes, it's a simulation trying to simulate a real race, but how real is it? We have people racing on controllers. You're using a G29 wheel or or like a, a Thrustmaster T150 or even, you know, a little level up than that. Like we're not, we're not, we're not really racing guys. We're not pro racers. We're not, we don't even know how many of you guys actually raced a professional race car to say that this car handles exactly like it does in real life. And then if that's the case, then a real sim, then every car should race exactly the same in all the different sims, but they don't. Every car races differently. Every car handles differently. Differently, tire wear is going to be different. Crash physics are going to be different. In iRacing, when you crash, like I've seen my car go 40 feet in the air. That's not something that that happens in a real race. You don't go 40 feet up in the air. Um, so, so crash physics and things like that, and and when cars bump, there, there's there's there is no real, real simulation to it. Each game is trying to give you something similar. And what we're doing here is, which we're trying to simulate like a real race car, a real, but can we really do that? We're playing on, on, 
on equipment that's not real, right? It, it, it's like I said, there's different levels of equipment. There's better, there, there's lower levels. I'm sure a lot of people are not racing on $30,000 sim equipment. They're probably racing on a couple hundred or even a couple thousand. That's not what we're getting in real cars. So is it a real simulation? Does the car handle well, you know, handle exactly how it's supposed to handle in ACC as opposed to GT7? Well, here's the thing, guys. It all comes down to learning the techniques of driving, right? Do we really need to drive a car like it's supposed to really drive in real life? We're not, again, we're not race car drivers, but what we're learning is the technique. We're learning how to trail brake. So you take a game like GT7 where you learn how to trail brake. Does the car handle as real as, as, a, as a car in ACC? I, 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 guys, I don't know. I've never raced a GT3 car. I've never raced a GT4 car. I've never raced my own personal car that I drive in. I've never took it to a racetrack. So I can't even tell you if that's how it would handle if it was in GT7, if it would really handle like that. But again, we're learning the techniques. In GT7, I learned how to trail brake correctly on a road track. I learned how to take an apex. I learned the driving lines on these tracks. What does that mean? It means I can hop into ACC now. I can hop into iRacing Road and I can adapt to those games and learn how to drive them. Do they drive differently than when I'm racing in GT7? 100% yes. What do I feel differently? I feel like the cars are a lot harder to control in a game like ACC and in a game like iRacing. I feel like braking technique has to, it, it's a little more babying the brakes. Um, but again, the techniques learned in GT7 can translate to those other games. You just have to adapt and learn the different, the different ways to control your car, but overall the technique is the same. Um, with, with shifting, um, shifting is different. I feel like in ACC and iRacing, when you shift, when you upshift, when you downshift, the car handles differently, especially, down, especially when you downshift while you're racing. When you downshift you know, and you don't shift in the correct time, you can definitely unsettle the car way differently than GT7. Is GT7 more forgiving? 100% yes it is. And in GT7, when I raced it right after doing ACC, I was able to push the car a lot harder. I was able to drive it a lot harder. I was able to brake a lot harder. I was able to not focus on so much of down shifting in correct spots because I knew my car wouldn't unsettle like it would in ACC. But the difference is after running some laps in ACC, you, you just adapt to it. You just learn how to drive the car there. Because again, I learned the techniques in GT7 so I can adapt it to other racing games. But is, is one real? and one not real again is acc real well if acc see if acc is real and i racing is real and they both drive differently then how can they both simulate exactly the real driving response that you're expecting from each car they don't again guys it's just a game and you know this whole thing with i drive a real sim you're playing an arcade game no if we're talking about an arcade game we're talking about need for speed we're talking about games like that those are arcade games you don't need to trail break you don't you're not looking for apexes you're not driving on real race tracks the thing with gt7 is you're driving on a real track the, the lines in gt7 are the same driving lines that you're going to need to drive in acc in i racing you're going to still need to trail break if you want to be fast and if you want to be a better driver in gt7 trail braking is just as important as any other car simulation game it's just as important so you're gonna have to trail brake correctly you're gonna have to drive the correct lines you're gonna have to hit the apex correctly you're gonna have to know slow in fast out you're gonna have to do it all in all of the games which car handles the most accurately i can't tell you i've never driven any of these cars so to me does it matter? Should should you feel any less of a sim, of a simulator driver if you're driving in GT7? No. And if you're driving in GT7, I'm telling you that it can translate to any other sim racing game. You just get used to and just notice the difference of how the car handles and you adapt. So is GT7 any less of a simulation? I, I, I don't think so. I feel like you still need to drive correctly in order to be the fastest driver that you can be. The guys that are driving fast, know how to drive a car they can hop into any one of these car simulation games and drive fast because they know the proper technique of driving you will need to learn the proper technique of driving in gt7 which to me makes it a simulation game like any of one of these other games if you don't need to learn proper driving technique then to me that's not a simulation a simulation is simulating proper driving technique proper driving lines to be the fastest and in the end that is what makes you a better driver so I'm really curious about your opinion. 
But as you see here in ACC, I was able to drive it because I learned how to drive in GT7. It just took me a little bit more getting used to how the car handled and things that I just need to adjust a little bit to, to, to be able to race in ACC as opposed to GT7 where you can get away with more, you can push a little more, you can drive a little more aggressively and your car has a little more grip. Which one is real? Like I said, I don't know. Is the grip real that I'm getting in GT7? Or is the grip real that I'm getting in ACC? Or is the grip real that I'm getting in iRacing? Some of these cars feel like they're actually like skating on ice. They're, 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 they just give out with the little littlest of anything. Is that real? Again, I don't know, guys. Most of you guys probably don't know because you're not professional drivers. You never drove these cars either. Some guys obviously out there are professional drivers. They use these cars to train. They use these games to train. But does it matter to us as a casual racing game of myself or a casual racer like you guys or someone who's not going pro and really worried about, you know, the most accurate physics in a game? It, it, it shouldn't matter, guys. Enjoy the game that you're playing. Any one of these games are great. If you have a PS5, GT7, ACC, if you're in VR, obviously, you know, you can play GT7 only in VR on PlayStation 5 but you have lots of different choices on PC. Again, Quest 3 for me has been looking amazing for, for, for racing games in VR. Um, ACC was playable to me on the Quest 3. I just think it's a great headset, the clarity in it, the lenses are just fantastic. So anyway, that's my opinion. I really wanna hear your guys' opinion down below. Um, obviously respectful, be nice, um, especially if you're responding to other people down there and things like that. This isn't about a battle. It's just about a conversation. I like to do conversations like this and just, um, you know, get people's opinions, what they think, and then maybe just just make other people think a little bit differently um, about, about, you know, our, our, about, about sim racing games and actual physics of, of the game. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thumb it up, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.